Now, Japanese media outlets, including Kyoto News Agency, were quick to cover South Korean President Moon Jae-in's first public remarks on Japan's new trade restrictions, in which he urged Tokyo to withdraw them. Now, Kyoto went on to say, despite this, Japanese Prime Minister Shinzo Abe is unlikely to change his stance, but rather that Tokyo will continue to exert pressure on Seoul over its Supreme Court ruling over forced labor leading up to and during World War II. Kim Yo-sun reports. Japan's Kyoto News Agency published an article Monday titled South Korean President Urges Tokyo's Regulation Withdrawal, Vowing Responsive Measures. It quoted President Moon's remarks that call for Japan's withdrawal of its latest trade restrictions on South Korea. It explained this is the first public response by Moon amid the trade spat between the two neighbors. However, it said it's unclear whether the South Korean leader will be able to seek a resolution, as it's been a while since Seoul and Tokyo held a summit. The article also said President Moon vowed to take responsive measures if South Korean companies are harmed by the new trade curbs. Citing diplomatic sources, the article said Japanese Prime Minister Shinzo Abe is unlikely to change his stance even after the House of Councilors election stated for later in July. Rather, it explained Tokyo will continue to exert pressure on Seoul to resolve the issue of forced labor during World War II. Japan's NHK also dealt with President Moon's remark in detail, adding he will meet with South Korean business leaders to seek further countermeasures. Other Japanese media outlets, including the Mainichi, Yomiuri, and Asahi Shimbun, covered President Moon's remarks as well. Kim Hyo-san, Arirang News.